Just a quick video. Show uh, two movies that I received a few days ago. Um, the first one here. Uh, I backed this on Indiegogo. It must have been... Well, I don't remember. At least a year. Maybe two years ago. Um, I received the first movie quite a while ago. I think it was called Bloody Summer Camp. And this is the second movie that finally arrived on Blu-ray. Um, Go Away. I honestly do not remember what it's about because um, I backed it so long ago. It finally just arrived. I'm trying to remember who's in it. Uh, oh, Tom Matthews is in it on Tuesday night. Yeah, I honestly do not remember what it's about. But uh, yeah, I backed it quite a while ago on Indiegogo. And then the the other film arrived. I don't I honestly do not remember when that arrived. It must have been maybe back in the spring. I'm pretty sure it was called Bloody Summer Camp. I think that's what it was called. Um, I checked the disc. I didn't see any scratches. A few slight fingerprints on it that I was able to clean off, but uh, that's about it. And this next one here, um, I pre-ordered it through Grindhouse Video, but I was really disappointed. Um, cause I, as soon as it was available to pre-order, I pre-ordered it through Grindhouse Video. And uh, I was waiting and waiting, like, you know, is this going to ship or what? Because that was at Best Buy. I, I think it was at Best Buy, I'm pretty sure. Uh, must have been in Boise. And I saw the, uh, yeah, it was Best Buy in Boise. I saw a steelbook there. And I don't recall, I was looking around online and I was seeing um, available to, to purchase other places, it, it was, you know, ready to ship. And I was thinking, why has this not, sh why has this uh, steelbook not shipped? And um, so I emailed uh, Grindhouse Video, and I th what did they say? I think they said, um, oh, sorry, um, our distributor is not able to supply us with uh, uh, the product. So uh, we'll, uh, we're going to refund everybody that you know, made the pre-order. I think it took about a week, and then it finally got a refund. But it was just like... I'm sure they knew for a while there that um, it wasn't going to arrive. It was like, you know, maybe you could send an email to people that pre-ordered so they can uh, purchase it somewhere else instead of waiting for, you know. I had I, I didn't know what the hell was going on until I emailed them and finally. But I um, went ahead and purchased this from Amazon, a little bit cheaper anyway, so. And if there was an issue, I could, you know, send it back for a refund or a replacement. But that's uh, Scream 3, the uh, 4K uh, Steelbook. Yeah, if I remember, I think. The other ones, I have um, Scream, Scream 2, Scream 5, and Scream 6 on, uh, I have the Steelbooks. And from what I remember, those all have the Blu-ray and 4K. And for some reason, this... And they're all black. This one's red. And it's not a huge deal. Just, you would think they'd try to match them all, but oh well. Um, but yeah, those other ones, from what I remember, they all had um, the Blu-ray and 4K. And I think this one's just a 4K. Yeah. i to take that digital code out. But uh, I inspected the disc, and... There aren't any scratches or smudges or fingerprints or dust, nothing. So, no film inside. So, but yeah, I was just really irritated with the Crane House video because, like, you know, okay, you know, I, I'm seeing it, you know, the Scream 3 Steelbook um, available for purchase um, other places and, you know, that are, other places that are shipping it out. It's like, um, can you maybe 
email those of us that pre-ordered it so and let us know what's going on so we can purchase it somewhere else. Just extremely irritating, but um, that's it for this video.